fire away. Angelica, what you got? Well, as you just talked about, Coach, a much different situation sitting here, picked to finish near the middle of the pack, but obviously you guys used that 14 last year's motivation. Now that you're up a little higher, how do you still use that same fight determination that you had last year? Well, I think that we had a, a, a taste of success last year. It's about taking the next step. How do you go from a nine-win team to 11-win team? And, and I think for me, for me, my perspective is, I think we're undervalued. You know, we gotta go out and play that and prove it. Um, but we return a lot of production and everybody else is getting better just like we're getting better, right? And, and so I'm excited about this group. I like the pieces. I think we have a chance to be elite on offense and I, and I really think we're gonna be a much improved team defensively. Scott Satterfield said you called him about Dante holding Owen and you had a player in a similar situation. Can you speak about that? We did, and, and I'll keep the name out of it because that's a that's a personal uh, deal. But yeah, we had a player that went through the exact same uh, situation a year ago. And, and it's something that we really leaned on some NFL personnel because there's a couple guys in the NFL with similar situations. Um, and we did a lot of research and we felt like that we took a safe um, and precautionary measure, uh, but, but the young person was able to play and uh, he was effective and he's doing better and he still has some restrictions, but not as strict as they were last fall. Can you talk about playing Arizona a few time zones away, what kind of challenges or maybe something you guys are looking forward to with that? Well, I think anytime you can come out um, west, it's, it's a neat, it's a different experience. Our guys, few of them were here when we played in the bowl game there a couple years ago. Um, but it's a challenge, you know, there's without a doubt. I mean, you're talking about significant time difference. Um, depending on when the game is, it can be even a bigger challenge. Um, and you have to make a lot more logistic decisions, right, as far as, you know, do you go out a day early? Do you stay after the game? And, and you really can't do some, make some of those decisions until you figure out what time you're playing. What's Garrett Green feeling approaching this upcoming season? Yeah, I think that he's really confident, which he should be. Uh, he's very aware of what he's got to get better at. He's got to be a more efficient passer, which he knows. Um, he's worked really, really hard at that since January. Um, but I think he's got a chip on the shoulder, maybe even more so than a year ago, because there's a lot of quarterbacks that are getting talked about right now in this league, and, and Garrett's not necessarily one of them. And he arguably was the best runner in the league last year. He completed the most down, excuse me, completed the most downfield passes, and and he's not getting a whole lot of discussion. The, the offense is such a tight knit group. Do you see the offensive players kind of taking that and having that as a chip on their shoulder of you know, their leader, their quarterback, not getting as much preseason hype as they probably think he deserves as well? Yeah, he's one of the rare people that's really respected and really well liked. Uh, he's popular and respected. And I think that's a credit to him and his family and all those type of things. But yeah, he is. He's, he's very well liked. Um, he works extremely hard, which has gotten the respect. He's patient. Uh, which also earned the respect of his team. And so th that's a guy they want to fight for, for sure. And I, and I believe if you were to quiz our running backs, our receivers, our tight end, our O-line, they're going to feel like that he is being undervalued and they look forward to helping him. You know, you mentioned Garrett in the passing, but 6.6 .6 yards per carry is pretty tantalizing to coach, isn't it? Yeah, well, no, no doubt. And, <laughs> and I just, and I really, I use that word undervalued. I don't, I don't think people understand that the type of dynamic playmaker he is. And, as you get ready for this event, or you get ready and you're and you're looking through some preseason stuff, and you start getting into opponent prep, and you see him not getting maybe the uh, accolades that others do, and his production's better, and and you got to question why. Do you see any similarity between Max Dugan and uh, Garrett growth-wise? Yeah, I don't know. I think to be determined. You know, yeah. Max obviously had a, a yeah. special year and took the team to the national. Championship. He was. Runner then became, he, was yeah. he was. And so, yeah, would we love for that to be the case? Absolutely. <laughs> but, but I think Garrett's got some room to to make yeah. that comparison. Yeah, last year. Okay, we uh, gotta go. Coach gotta go over to the end. <laughs>